In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to who have accomplished the work of human redemption through the paschal mystery of your only begotten Son. Grace is grant that we, who confidently proclaim under sacramental signs the death and resurrection of Christ, may experience continued increase of your saving grace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Today's reading is from the Corinthians. For I received from the Lord what I also handed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was handed over, took bread, and after he had given thanks, broke it, and said, This is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, also the cup after, after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the death of the Lord until he comes again. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The responsorial psalm is, Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. The lowly will hear me and be glad. Taste and and see the goodness of of the the Lord. Lord. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Taste Taste and see see the goodness of the Lord. Look to him, that you may be radiant with joy, and your faces may not blush with shame. When the afflicted man called out, the Lord heard from all his distress, he saves him. He can see the goodness of the Lord. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Happy the man who takes refuge in him. Taste and see the goodness of the Lord. lacking to those who fear him. The great grow poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord want for no good thing. be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews who are present, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and blood is true drink. Who eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father has sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is a bread that come down from heaven, unlike your ancestors who ate and still died. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. On the night he was betrayed, Jesus took bread, said the blessing, broke the bread, said, This is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. My first reading of 1 Corinthians brings us back to the, that Last Supper when Jesus gave us the Eucharist. This is my body. This is my blood. On the eve of his passion and death, he's about to give his life for us all. He wants to give us a permanent remembrance of his passion, death, and resurrection. The Holy Eucharist makes present to us the very saving mysteries of our faith, what we celebrate on Easter Sunday, that Christ has triumphed over sin and death, that we share in his victory. Through baptism and faith, we join the life of Jesus. 
But he gave us the Eucharist as a special way to be united with him forever, a foretaste of foreshadowing of eternal life. Through his passion, death, and resurrection, Jesus has freed us from the power of sin and death. He's made us children of God with a heavenly inheritance. Our life's project must be union with Jesus Christ. That's the goal of our life, for Jesus is our life. How better can we be united with Jesus and in a holy Eucharist? This is my body, this is my blood. Wherever eats my flesh and drinks, but remains in me and I in him. The first fruit of the Eucharist is we're united with the very life of Jesus Christ. We're united with his life and therefore share in his victory. But we're also united with each other, as St. Paul says, because a loaf of bread is one. We, though many, are one body. We all partake of the one loaf. Because we share in the Eucharist, we are made to one body of Christ. That's what St. Paul meant. The Eucharist builds the church and makes the church. Because Jesus defeated the power of sin and death through his passion, death, and resurrection, the Eucharist also frees us from sin. But finally, the greatest fruit of the Eucharist is perhaps that we have a foretaste of eternity itself, where eats my flesh and drinks and blood, has eternal life, and I'll raise him on the last day. The Eucharist is a foreshadowing of eternity. Therefore, we must have a passion and love for the Holy Eucharist. This day, you children will share in the Eucharist for the first time, the first of many times, until that last day of your lives when Jesus will greet you in eternity. And no longer will have depend on sacramental signs, we'll share in the reality of being with Jesus forever. I am the bread of life, Jesus says. Where eats this bread will live forever. And the bread I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. Jesus said, Whatever you ask of the Father, my name will be granted. Therefore, let us place our needs before God. Please stand. Uh, faithful. The response to the prayer of the faithful is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May we always be close to Jesus as we are today. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we always be willing to forgive others as Jesus forgives us. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God bless and care for our parents, family, and friends. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God bring peace and love to all the people of the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special needs and intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Triune God, we feel your presence in our lives. Draw us closer to you through the power of the Spirit and grant our prayers in the name of Jesus, your Son. Please be seated. Please join me in singing our offertory hymn at that first Eucharist.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands the praise and glory of his name, for, for our good and the good of all his, his holy church. Celebrating the memorial of our salvation, we humbly beseech your mercy, O Lord, that this sacrament of your loving kindness may be for us a sign of unity and a bond of charity. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It's truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted a pattern of an ever everlasting sacrifice, was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh, that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. As we drink his blood, which is poured out for us, we wash clean. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, so that without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and heaven. indeed holy Lord and, you, and all that you created rightly gives you praise. If you are through the Lord Jesus Christ by the power and working of the Holy Spirit to give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore Lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously holy these gifts you brought you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your son our Lord Jesus Christ at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mystery of Faith. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension to heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance with your aid, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, a blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with all your saints, 
on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely on the failing hell. May this sacrifice of a reconciliation we pray, Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. We discern Francis of Pope and Timothy our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, entire people gain for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To the part of brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory now is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command, we stand. the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Amen. Father, who art in Amen. heaven, hallowed Amen. be thy Amen. name. Thy Amen. kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power and, and the glory, glory are yours, yours now and forever. And forever. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, mm -hmm. live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. As offered to the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy, worthy to enter under my roof. Only roof. say the word, my soul shall be healed. Please join me in our communion hymn, We Come to Your Table.
Let us pray. May sharing at the heavenly table sanctify us, Lord, we pray, so that through the body and blood of Christ, the whole family of believers may be bound together. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Mighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is in us. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Please join me in our recessional hymn, Alleluia, Alleluia, Let the Holy Anthem Rise. Thank you. 